Hi. Hi. What if I told you about being inside the house when there are people here? More than I really care to know. <laughs> well, go on out to the garage and don't come back until the workmen have left for the day. They've been here for weeks. How long does it take to build a stupid baby nursery anyway? Twice as long as they tell you it's going to take. <laughs> Why don't you come out with me? We can play pin the tailpipe back on the car. <laughs> it's not as bad as it sounds. I'm sorry I can't right now, Alf. Kate and I are going to have our first Lamaze class this afternoon. What's a Lamaze class? It's where expectant parents rehearse for the baby's birth. Today, we're going to practice breathing. Admit it, wilderness. This baby's become an obsession with you. Well, of course it's an obsession. It's the miracle of life. It's, it's the marvel of creation, the mystery of being. Congratulations. You're giving birth to an episode of Nova. <laughs> And then the doctor put the ultrasound machine on my stomach, and we could see the baby's head, and we could see the baby's legs. We even saw its heart beating. Please, Kate, some of us are eating here. Since when have you been squeamish? Since Kate started talking about that parasite that's growing and changing inside of her. Speaking of parasites, Alf, are you ready for your fifth helping of meatloaf? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> here, are we going to be able to tell it about Alf? Well, I have to eventually. You know, the funny thing about this baby is that it's going to be growing up with Alf. I mean, you know, to the baby, he won't be weird or anything. He'll just be normal. Don't mind me. I love being discussed in the third person. <laughs> Sorry, Alf. Just don't let it happen again. I'll get it. Hide him. <laughs> Oh, hi, Raquel. Hey, really? Laverne. Uh, we're sorry to disturb your dinner. Oh, we're used to it. I mean, come on in. <laughs> oh, and how's the little mummy to be? <laughs> Not so little. <laughs> she blocks the whole TV when she walks in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the old adage, pregnancy is nature's little way of saying wear a tent. <laughs> I've heard that. Well, only take a moment. It's about the Litwax house. Isn't it, Laverne? What? Oh, right, yes, our house, yes. W what about your house, Laverne? Well, we might want to sell it. Someday, you know. So I was wondering, well, Kate, since you're in the actual field of real estate, what um, you thought about that. About what, Laverne? Hmm? Kate could probably get a much better idea of what your house is worth if you take her outside and go over there for at least five minutes. That would help a lot. Now. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, you know, just in case you decide to sell it someday. <laughs> well, uh, all right, Laverne, if it's, if it's that important. <laughs> Take your time now. Ladies, you know the old adage, appraise in haste, repent at leisure. That one I hadn't heard. I thought they'd never leave. Well, whatever's up, Raquel. <laughs> Laverne and I want to throw a surprise baby shower for Kate. That's very Here, nice. Saturday. Of you. A baby shower sounds like fun. I could help. That was the plan. Now, we will bring everything but the refreshments, the decorations, the party favors, and the folding chairs. Sounds fair. Well, it's the least Addie Raquel can do. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to your dinner. Meatloaf again, huh? We like it. Well, to each his own. Toodles! What's a surprise baby shower? It's a big pain in the... <laughs> so, when's my shower? How did you know? Laverne cracked. <laughs> well, at least pretend to be surprised so you don't hurt Auntie Raquel's feelings. If it's more convenient, I could stay out here and you could just pitch the rest of my dinner into my mouth. Let's come back to the table, Al. No, thanks. I've heard enough about the Stepford baby. 